Well, tonight, Kansas City just four days away from the opening of the brand new KCI terminal. First flight set to leave early Tuesday morning means the old terminals are in their final hours of receiving passengers. It's where we find our own Dia Walsh. She's live in Terminal B during its last Friday in service. So Dia, you know, what's the mood there? Are the passengers excited about this new terminal that's coming? Oh yeah, it's definitely like quiet in here and everybody you talk to coming through Kansas City International Airport can't wait for the one that's behind me to go ahead and open up. And Bryant, you hit the nail on the head. Four years it's taken to get the new single terminal at Kansas City International up and ready to go for travelers. But it was a long process and we're going to look back at what it took to get to this point. Getting a new single terminal at KCI took a while to get off the ground. Seven years ago, some proposed renovating the current terminals to the tune of $340 million. Critics told me... The aviation department is trying to fix a problem the airport doesn't have. Uh, ridership is up last year. Um, it is a very convenient airport. People of Kansas City love it. In 2015, 10 and a half million people did travel through KCI. That was up 3% from the year before, but partner airlines were pushing for an upgrade. Even if Southwest and other airlines say, yeah, we think you should build this, if it becomes too expensive for them to serve, they'll fly out of somewhere else. Back then, the estimate for a new terminal was $1 billion, and people in the community really like the old ones. I'm not sure if I will vote for it or not, because um, it's, it's fine like it is now. And I think that's a lot of money to waste on our airport. I like our airport the way it is. Just like that, in 2016, the conversation was put on hold. Big names like Clark Hunt, chairman and CEO of the Chiefs, wrote, the new KCI will play an essential role in achieving the forward-thinking vision for the future of Kansas City. Terry Basham, President of KCPNL wrote, it is important to economic development in our region. And if we lose this opportunity, it is a generational mistake. Things turned around after Kansas City received a letter from the TSA calling for security changes and questioning the current terminal design. In 2017, then Mayor Sly James announced that Burns and McDonald would build the new terminal and assume the financial risk. But not so fast. Several companies wanted to bid for the project. Current mayor, then councilman Quentin Lucas, was a leading voice demanding transparency in the selection process. Well, because the way we initially started didn't seem like we would be as transparent as we could. We've changed the process a few times, but now we're trying to make sure that anybody who wants to take a look at this bid can. Back then, I asked Lucas how the committee would determine who won the bid. The first part is going to be what's the value. The second part is how do you work with local businesses. The third part is how do you work with the airlines? And I think we're going to be looking at track record. Ultimately, four companies put forward proposals. And in the fall of that year, the committee shared. Uh, we will be recommending Edgemore. It's time to move forward, come together, approve the new terminal so that it can create jobs, economic development, the workforce of the future, bring the community benefits that we've offered to the city to help bring and create uh, tremendous value here in Kansas City. The full council voted 10 to 2 to approve Edgemore to build a new single terminal at KCI. And finally, Kansas City was ready for takeoff. Hard to believe we're just a few days away, right? Now, some fast facts for you about the new single terminal at KCI. There are 39 gates inside, but there is capacity to expand to up to 50 gates. There are also 6,200 parking spaces and 52 electric charging stations. That new terminal, by the way, came at a price tag of $1.5 billion, opening not just on time, but early and on budget.